Hey, what's up? Tim Bushong here. Thought I'd give a little bit of an update on the Kickstarter project. Wow, barely three days into it, and we're almost a third of our way to the goal of 3,000. That's amazing. I want to thank everyone who's contributed so far. You have no idea what it means to me and to Greg and to Rick. Um, we have 55 days to meet our goal. I think we're in good shape. So I thought I'd take some time and run down a little bit of uh, goofy guitar nerdly stuff. What amps are being used, what guitars, what kind of microphone, mic preamp, and uh, cabinet situation we got going on. First of all, the main guitar on this record is the old Red Charvel 5A. Uh, I won this guitar back in 1989 in a Hot Licks contest at a club that's now defunct, Tonto's in Fort Wayne, and I beat the excellent Mark Vila by less than a percentage point. Mark, you know why I won. I played jazz. In 1989, George Lynch, Satriani, you hear some jazz, you go, oh, I cheated. Sorry, bro. So usually for the first pass, I'm doing this. I'm using my friend Jared Pagan's uh, single rec boogie, which is just an amazing amp, wonderful amp. Love it. And it sounds like this. I'm going to play the same riff twice. One pass, and then for the next pass, I go through my own trusty 5150, which by the way, a 5150 was used on all the rhythm tracks on Soak Your Brain. On this situation, I've got it going into an old uh, Fender 212 loaded with Celestians, a ribbon mic going into a Joe Meek Pre. <laughs> so each amp has its own little thing it's bringing to the equation. You know, the 5150 does its thing, and it does it well. The boogie, obviously, is used by so many people because of the fact that it just delivers the tone all the time. One of the other things to keep in mind on this record is, I promise, there are no amp simulators on the record. It's not that I refuse to use them. I'm just like, look, if I'm putting the time and the effort into this, I want to make sure that it's getting the biggest, most organic, total body-thumping sound you can get and I just don't think that the modelers are up to it yet. So anyway, that's all for now. I'm going to be uh, posting more videos later. Greg was supposed to come tonight to sing background vocals, but he had something come up. So we'll get him on here, uh, Rick Armstrong as well, doing some bass guitar. Thanks for watching, and we'll be in touch soon. And by the way, here's a little snippet of the riff I was playing earlier. See you, bye.